All right. So, Julius, this is the topic of today's video, and it's mainly because of the Black Asta situation that I have to talk about this, but I'm basically going to be explaining how Julius's batter is going to work in comparison to other pickup batters, and also if Julius is a paywalled unit, and if Black Asta 2 is a paywalled unit, okay? So, Julius uh, is either going to be coming out at the end of this month or sometime next month. Those are the two possibilities, and right now it's seeming that it might be... Might be this month there's been some uh, leakers who's been going at it and uh, you know we also it, it just lines up perfectly with christmas on the 24th or the 25th i think depending on the when because of the midnight sun banners ending on the 23rd so we could expect a banner either on the 23rd to the like 24th right so julius right julius has amazing animations i meant to click on the i've clicked the wrong button twice that's crazy but julius's animations are very cool right he himself is an amazing unit right skill one okay Skill 2, I'm just going to show you guys because, you know, why not? A lot of you guys are global players. I know my Julia Showcase video didn't went up a big time in numbers. So I'm going to guess a lot of you guys checked it out, which I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to check it out again. But uh, yeah, Julia. So in terms of his kit, I'm not really going to be talking about that, just how his banner works. And yes, he is technically the first fest banner. It is just good rep for or good rep or just I guess good promo. Uh good clout for me to put on a title, good clickbait in a way, but like he is technically a fest banner. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um th that's his skill page, so pretty cool. Now, anyway, let's go over to Google and just explain it. So basically, um there was a lot of talk in the community just from different people as uh, just talking about if Black Asta was a paid character or a paywalled character, I guess. And that's because of this text right here, that it was very, very confusing with the wording and because of how they word it in Korean. Uh, and it made many people mad, right? And then I had to remake another post explaining in full bullet points. So now I'm gonna explain to you those exact bullet points. But now, like, I just gotta say, this is like so clean how they converted it over. Like, man, bro, peak, peak. Anyway, so we did get his animations. We got everything, right? So that is very cool. Um, now, Black Asta is going to be coming out on the 14th or 13th, depending on where you live in the world, on JP and KR for the six-month anniversary. Now, the problem with Black Asta, okay, is that he is going to be using exclusive tickets. If we go back in game, we will see he will be using these tickets, okay, which is... Um, I think to me, not that much of a problem on JP, but I think you guys should never convert your uh, crystals to tickets just in case, because on JP, we're not able to convert our crystals to tickets anywhere. It's only when we do the multis that we're able to convert our crystals to tickets, okay? So for JP wise, the only tickets you get are the tickets that are in the game, right? And it's not like you get a lot of crystals still, right? There's still Hall of, uh, hall of uh, what's called Memory Hall that gives a lot on JP. So it's a very different, very different um, scene, I guess you could say on JP because there are different ways to get crystals. And if anything, more ways, but on uh, Global, we have more tickets. So, you know, it would be bad if uh, that did happen. So anyway, let's just talk about how exactly or what exactly was the problem. Okay, so basically, if we open it right now, let's open the dev letter and talk about it so the way they said it the way that they decided to describe it is that basically um you are only able to use these new types of tickets okay so like we talked about they gave 10 out just for like compensation i guess so we got 10 now besides that they do say okay if we start going here uh, that limited pickup summon ticket, the purple one that we just saw, can be obtained through event special rewards, products, and paid crystals. In addition, the limited exchange is open during the limited pickup mage acquisition period. We are preparing to exchange the limited pickup summon tickets for free black crystals enough to make one confirmed purchase. So, you are allowed 200, okay, 200 free pulls, free, meaning free black crystal pulls. So, you're able to get one pity for free with free black crystals, not for free, but you know what I mean? You're able to get one pity with free black crystals and the rest is going to be paid. Now you're gonna be able to do a bit more, obviously, because we're gonna get 10 tickets here. They are gonna give some through events, not that much, but stuff like that is going to be how they're gonna to decide to do it, okay? And as for Julius on, or now, now let's talk about this. Will, this is still a bad change. I just gotta say this is a bad change because if we're really looking at it, Julius' skill page is the best skill page in the entire game. Um, what it gives is that on his skill two, it's an AOE by the way, on top of it, having a chance to decrease everyone's, uh, increase the cooldown 
to everyone's skill two. So if they have zero cooldown, if it like they're able to use their skill two, there's a 50% chance that he increases the cooldown by one turn. He increases his speed, and then with the skill page, he adds that the target he chooses, even if it's anyway, the target he chooses, guaranteed gets their mobility reduced to zero. And then everyone else has a 60% chance to reduce their mobility by 10%. Best skill two in the game. And then it also adds all attack by 15% up to 25. It goes up by an extra 5% compared to Fauna and the purple destruction one. So it's the best skill page in the entire game in terms of the passive added onto Julius and the universal passive. So that's the thing. Only having 200 summons, right? Only having enough to do one free pity, right? Is a problem for some people because if you don't get the scope page, you're kind of cooked over a lot of the times. And Black Austin with the scope page basically adds 30% damage reduction on top of him having having the increased defense AOE, right? So he's adding um the what's it called? The uh total defense, which means you cannot crit the if you have total you can't you cannot be crit if you have total defense. And it also means you're blocking the damage, right? You're blocking it, which also means you can't be crit because you can you can only be blocked, normal attack or crit, right? Those are the three types of damages. So since you can't be since you're blocking, you can't be crit, and then you're taking th up to 30% less damage from that. And he's also adding AOE defense increase to the whole team. So for that skill too, it's very good. So for example, in both Julius's case and Black Austin's case, you want the skill pages. 200 pulls might not be enough for some people. Now, will this come to global? No, okay? It won't. For the most part, it will not, and especially not to Julius. He will not be added to the standard gacha, but that is how a fest works, right? Every other pick up in this game, every other, okay? Um, Riot, the, the four midnight suns, okay, Kyaro Kohono, um, what's it called, Vero and Gundari, um, Langris and Yuno, and Fauna and Witch Queen are all in the, uh, all in this, uh, unfeatured, so, it makes sense why Julius isn't, he is Julius, right, and it is still a special banner, okay, we got this, uh, special, like, banner that's different than usual, usually it's either purple, or, uh, usually it's always purple, I guess, um, and yeah, so you still get him in 200 pulls, right? Still. And it also will probably come with a banner that you can reroll 999 times with a guaranteed SSR. And it's, yeah, it's all the base SSR. So you could also get one of like Lotus Mars, someone like that when they, whenever they come out. So that is also very good that it should be coming out with that. But except for that, um, no, I think it still does suck that on, on JP, right? It's like this, but will this come to global? Uh, no, will this like 200 pulls come to global? It should not unless things change and they need money badly, it's not, okay, it's not, especially since it didn't happen for Julius's banner, since Julius's banner was 100% just, you could do, use whatever you want on it, and also you could see that we have the normal tickets here, okay, we, you could see it, so there's that. Now, yes, I do not recommend, just in case it does happen in the future, to convert your crystals to tickets, but besides that, there's really uh, nothing to worry about, just make sure y'all are watching the Black Asta video, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, bro, but like, I'm gonna be I like the thing is I ha you have to keep your paid crystals now on the JP because you know just in case I got my extra what is it where is it I've got my extra five multis here of paid crystals in case I need to do it but it kind of sucks because like the paid shop's pretty good right? I got skills I got my food that I could buy very good food it's very different than global's paid uh, paid shop but it's whatever so yeah that's basically it. also they've got to add this to global but that's basically it I just wanted to make sure you guys know that no uh, Julius is not going to be paid on global and we're going to be good, right? But Black Asta, it's very cringe that he will be on JP.